Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering Bitcoin, but before I do, I would appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Everyone's talking about Bitcoin. Everyone's thinking it's going to go to 100k, going to 20k, going back down to even potentially zero. So why is it going to be going to? I will be covering all of that in today's video. Just before I jump into analysis, I will go over the coin market cap in terms of where it is at the moment. So guys, as you guys can see, current price at the moment is over $51,000. It is up nearly 3% over the last 24 hours, currently 2.3%. 39%. As you guys can see, current market cap is over 1 billion. Circling volume of the last 24 hours is 36 million, just over that actually. Going over the chart very briefly, as you guys can see, back down in 2017, it did have that surge all the way back to the 20k mark, and it did unfortunately dip, and it didn't go all the way back up to a new all time high around that $61,000, and then dipped all the way back down to around that $39,000, and then has been going up. To where it is at the moment so guys i will be jumping on to the price analysis now so guys yes whatever has been waiting for the price analysis so guys as you guys can see i have drawn out this dinosaur where as you guys can see from where the neck is it has actually gone from where i did call out all the way to around that fifty one thousand dollar mark so where i do see it going at the moment is going back down to where's that forty five thousand maybe in potentially back down to that fifteen thousand dollar mark Bruh. Anyways, back to some serious analysis. So guys, as you guys can see, I have jumped onto the monthly time frame and I have drawn at this Fibonacci level. So where that bullish candle was around that start of the year, I have drawn at that Fibonacci to all time high around that $65,000 mark. And as you guys can see, has rejected that 61.8 perfectly. As you guys can see, has rejected this month, this month, and this month. Create that level of support around that $35,000 mark has been bullish ever since then. So the last three months has been very bullish. So hopefully what it does now is go beyond that all time high around that $65,000 mark, possibly creating that level of support like what you see here and then go towards an all new time high, potentially to that 100,000 region. As you guys can see, I did put that down over here. So that is what everyone's been hoping for. So it does hopefully does a full retracement back down to that 1.618 level or even to at least these targets here initially around that $80,000 mark is where I see it going or what might it actually do is as you guys can see I have jumped onto monthly as well and I've drawn out the Fibonacci in the other way as well so guys back down where it was in 2017 slash 18 there was that massive rejection massive dump all the way back down to the low back down to around that four thousand dollar mark so as you guys can see I have uh, drawn out here it was a massive 84% drop so I have drawn out here as well as you guys can see I did draw a fib from that sixty five thousand dollar mark to that low of the hair and then back down here so what I might do here as well is create that level of resistance support around that 61.8 level and I might break those levels of support and go back down towards around that low where everyone's thinking as well there is two sides of every story people think 100k people think it back down to 12k back down to 2k back down to even possibly lower than that so that that is what I'm seeing. So as you guys can see, they might create that level of resistance slash support, breaking them, going back down towards that same amount of rejection here. So as you guys can see, that 64.12 uh, level drop back in 2017 slash 18 might occur here as well. So if that does happen, as you guys can see, I have drawn out here, it does go back down to where those highs were around that $12,000, $10,000 region is where it might happen. But as you guys can see, those are two possibilities or it might completely work out as the other one I did mention. In terms of short term, I have jumped onto the weekly, have drawn out four short term analysis just to show you where price might be heading to. So as you guys can see, there was that resistance formed around that $60,000 mark around here where I did create and that level of support that's been formed here over here so as you guys can see that support has actually been broken now and that resistance right now as well around the $50,000 mark last week was doing pretty well actually ever since um, you know that last week has been very bullish and has uh, wicked out that top over here as well so what am I do as you guys can see the week has started out bearish 
what I might do is create that level of support again before heading towards that continuation break those all time high or what I might do is completely go back in and completely range for a while might drop down further or might completely go back up into this range here as you guys can see that range here might happen again here before going up or down so that is what I think in terms of the weekly jumping into the daily as you guys can see I have drawn this major trend line here touch once twice third time it did break completely and what it might do now is just go completely beyond breaking this level of range over here and create that level of support before that continuation back towards that $65,000 mark initially so that is what I think or what I might do completely break that ignore that sort of range sort of motion break these level of supports over here and go completely down towards that trend line again before creating level of support or resistances before going up or down so that is what i think in terms of the daily short-term analysis in terms of the short term uh, for four hour time frame as you guys can see is that upward trend so it is a bit of a sticky situation where if it does follow this trend it might completely break towards that downside when i did mention in a couple of videos ago guys that upward trend it normally does mean it will go downwards so that is just how it might play out or as you guys can see if it does continue this upward motion might go towards that 56 dollars mark before maybe completely going back down towards that $50,000 mark but if it does that's still a good range to play around with so that is where it might be heading to as well in terms of really short term so if you guys do futures with Binance you know short term analysis or even jumping onto you know your daily forex sort of people as well you could jump onto the hourly as well to trade off um, as a day trader on Bitcoin as well so as you guys can see there was a resistance range around here where I did put in this grey box around that $50,000 mark $51,000 mark so as you guys can see it does seem to be playing out that fib pretty well at the moment so it does i did put that low here that high here it does seem to be rejecting that level of 61.8 perfectly over here so what it does now hopefully the next hour it does create that bullish candle and then they uh, definitely take that trade onwards towards that fifty two thousand dollar just for that short term analysis if you guys want to make those quick gains so that is what i see happening in terms of short term and those long term analysis as well so guys let me know what you guys think as well if you agree disagree i'm always up for opinions in terms of where i see or where you guys see bitcoin is heading to is it the future or is it not let me know what you guys think always looking forward to your comments as well so guys i'll wrap this video up there make sure you smash the like button subscribe and turn on bell notification for all future videos and with that being said i'll catch you guys in the next video